According to the World Health Organization, there are more than 40 million blind people around the world. When traveling and exploring the urban space, various environmental features impose danger to blind people that restrict their mobility and independence, impairing their quality of life. There exist technologies that support blind people's mobility to some degree, but blind people still experience challenges from a lack of information about space. A study carried out by Akatuv Cohen at the Environmental Crowdsourcing Lab under the supervision of Assistant Professor Sagi Daliot and Assistant Professor Sherry Azenkot examined the possibility of using OpenStreetMap an open source mapping infrastructure based on crowdsourcing of geographic data contributed by citizens all over the world for calculating walking routes adapted to the needs of blind pedestrians. The study included in-depth investigation, observations, and interviews with orientation and mobility instructors, as well as with blind people. The field work led to a clear definition of spatial criteria that best reflect aspects of mobility, accessibility, and safety, defined by four primary parameters. The geometric complexity of the route, use and type of the route, length of the route, and landmarks along the route. Other features were also integrated, such as accessibility of traffic signals. These criteria enable qualitative and quantitative examination of the various available road segments between the starting and destination points, determining the level of accessibility and safety for the blind pedestrian, recommending the most optimized route. The developed software was tested in a number of places with blind volunteers and an orientation and mobility guide. Not only that the routes recommended by the new software were identical to the routes defined by the experienced guide, but also, the volunteers noted that in most cases, the route chosen by the software was indeed more accessible and safer for walking than the route calculated by existing commercial software, such as Google Maps. The findings indicate that this is an effective and useful tool that could utilize OpenStreetMap for the benefit of blind people, improving their lives in terms of mobility, accessibility, and independence.